Now we'll look at an application of Newton's law of cooling given by this function here, t of t equals a times e raised to the power of kt plus t sub s, where t of t is the temperature of the object, a is a constant, k is the cooling rate, expressed as a decimal, t is the time, and t sub s is the surrounding air temperature. So let's take a look at our question. A tofu turkey is taken from an oven when its temperature has reached 165 degrees and is placed on a table where the temperature is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So if the turkey is taken out of the oven when it reaches 165 degrees, that means that T of zero must equal 165 degrees. Since the surrounding air temperature is 78 degrees, we know that T sub S is equal to 78. Now looking at this first question, we're also told the temperature of the turkey is 142 degrees after half an hour. Because we'll have our function written in terms of minutes, this is telling us that t of 30 must equal 142. Again, after 30 minutes, the temperature of the tofu turkey would be 142. All this information will allow us to find our function t of t. Let's start with the fact that t of zero equals 165. So t of zero would be equal to a times e raised to the power of k times t, but t is zero, so we have e to the zero, which is equal to one, and a times one is just a, plus t sub s, which is 78 degrees, must equal the initial temperature of 165. So if we subtract 78 on both sides, we can determine the value of a, a is equal to 87. So now we know that T of T must equal 87 times E raised to the power of KT plus 78. Now we need to find the value of K, which is the cooling rate expressed as a decimal, and we can do this because we know that T of 30 equals 142. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. Since we know that T of 30 equals 142, we have T of 30 would be equal to 87 times e raised to the power of, this would be 30k, since t is equal to 30, plus 78, and this must equal 142. Now we'll solve this equation for k, so we want to isolate the exponential part, so we'll start by subtracting 78 on both sides. This gives us 87 times e to the 30k equals 142 minus 78 is equal to 64. And we'll divide both sides by 87. So now we have e raised to the power of 30k equals the fraction 64 over 87. Now to solve for k, we'll take the natural log of both sides of the equation. This will allow us to apply the power property of logarithms here so we can take this 30k and move it to the front. So now we have 30k times natural log e, but natural log e is equal to one, so we just have 30k must equal natural log of our fraction, 64 over 87. Last step here is to divide both sides by 30. This quotient here will give us the approximate value of k, and therefore giving us our temperature function. We'll go ahead and round this to six decimal places. So we'll have negative point zero one zero two three four. Which means our function t of t is equal to eighty seven times e raised to the power of negative point zero one zero two three four t, where t is a number of minutes plus seventy eight. So now to determine the temperature at 40 minutes, we need to evaluate T of 40. So for T of 40, we'll substitute 40 for T. So we have e to the power of negative point zero one zero two three four times 40, and then plus 78. So now we'll go back to the calculator.
So after 40 minutes, the temperature is approximately 135.8 degrees. Now for the second question, we want to know when the tofu turkey will cool to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which means we want to know when T of T is equal to 95. So we want to solve the equation 87 times e to the power of negative point zero one zero two three four t plus seventy eight is equal to ninety five. So we'll isolate the exponential part, take the natural log of both sides, and then solve for t. So the first step so the first step will subtract seventy eight on both sides. So we have eighty seven e to the power of negative point zero one zero two three four t equals 17. We'll continue this on the next slide. Next step, divide both sides by 87. This simplifies to one. So now we'll take the natural log of both sides and then apply the power property of logarithms here. So I can move this to the front. Notice how we have this times natural log e, but again, natural log e is equal to one. So this just leaves us equal to natural log of our fraction here. Last step, divide by our coefficient of t. And this will give us the approximate value of t, or how long it takes the tofu turkey to reach 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's going to take approximately 159.5 minutes for the tofu turkey to reach 95 degrees Fahrenheit when the room temperature is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you found this helpful.